stampers welcome to watch it weekly wednesday i'm jill and i'm here to show you this new product called the nested treat boxes they come in two pieces for one box and we have eight in a package so you'll get the one to slide your box into which is this one and then the outside of that box and it already has adhesive on to it too so let me show you what I'm making or what I've actually made and it's a little advent tree that I made and I used seven of these boxes to make this tree and I decorated it also. So let me show you how to use at least put one of these boxes together so you know how it works. I'm going to start with the actual outside of the box and you want to fold these in so you see the adhesive and this is a duller side that you can either stamp on or adhere something to and then it's a food safe box too so the inside's got like a little coating onto it so if you want to put food things in there it's amazing I like the size are two and a half by two and a half so I went ahead and scored all those to get them ready and I'll do the other side too because I'm going to use these both. So we have our adhesive facing up right now. We'll do that other side too. Just fold everything in and push the score. If you want to really press it down to get the fold in there because it's they're thick. They're really nice. There are so many different options to do with these boxes and I'm going to show you a few. Okay, so this is the inside of the box. So what I'm going to do first is flip it over and I'm going to take the adhesive off all four sides and then put it together first. Okay, now I'm going to hold this like this with the adhesive in with both of my fingers and I'm going to take this and the corners are going to match and then I'm going to press it together. You, this is very sticky so you want to make sure you hold these in until you're ready to go ahead and adhere it. And I've done it where I've gotten the adhesive on it and it really is hard to get them off, but you can remove it. It's just a little bit tough. So there, the same thing, I'm gonna do it on this side. Hold the two together and go ahead and press that down. And I like to go ahead and lightly push them first so that they kind of stay at the top. Then I lay it down and put my finger in there and rub it so the adhesive stays really good. So that's how it looks on the inside. So you're gonna actually pull this part out. Let's go ahead and put the other side together just the same way as we just did the other one. You can go ahead and decorate these first before you put them together, but for purpose of just seeing how it's done, I went ahead and put them together first, the whole thing. Okay, same thing. Now the outside of the box is a slightly little bit bigger, so you can slide it in and out. Go ahead and pinch those down and then put them on the corner. Do the same thing with that. And you may want to lay it down and get both fingers down there to rub them so they're really down. So this is going to go like this, and then this is going to slide in to that box. So you just go ahead and slide it in, pull it here with your, you know, in and out of the box. Now let's go ahead and decorate. I like to decorate this part, and I'm going to show you how to decorate for the tree that we've done. I'm using the double oval punch to punch out this little oval that I've used around with the numbers, the alphabet a la mode dies. They come with ABCs and the numbers. I'm just gonna adhere this on. And this um, size, if you wanna know, is two and a quarter, and this is two. So this is a little bit smaller than the other pieces that go on the box. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make this pull tab in the front of the box. So I'm just placing this right here. There, there's not any adhesive and I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna mark it with a pen or a pencil, just that little oval area where it goes. 
and you can see right there I have that oval area and I'm going to take a one inch punch and go ahead and put that punch over that and just punch it. Now you can see how that fits exactly. Now I like the little white around it. Some of the boxes I've made I've gone all the way out to the edge so it just depends on what look you want. So I'm going to go ahead and hear that to my box. Now if you want to use ribbon to decorate it, it just depends on how you want and what you look you like. So I'm just going to do this flat for right now. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop this up. I'm going to go ahead and put on the alphabet a la mode the number that I have here, the number one. So I'm just going to have this on the side. You can put it right in the center if you want, but I kind of like it on the side. And you could do more embellishments with it if you want. Now the outside of the box. Okay, we're going to go ahead and depending on how it sits on your tree, if this is number one, then I'm going to want to decorate this side, this side, this side, and the back. You don't have to decorate the underside because that's going to be going on the tree. So you want to lay it out like here so you can kind of look at the way that you want to do it. So I already had put these on it and this particular one is two and a half inch by two and a quarter because these are bigger. So I want to go ahead and put those on and you notice that it goes almost right to the edge on this. So I don't have any white on that. So you can decide how you want to do it if that's the look you want. So you just have to remember two and a half and decide if you want to go to a quarter inch down or if you want to go further. So you're looking at this on the top. So I'm going to do these sides so the trees are facing up. And then this other one, the same thing, I'm going to have it facing up. And so all the trees are facing up. This is the back piece. Now I'm not going to decorate the bottom because that's not going to show. Okay, we've got the whole box decorated. And I'm going to slide this in so you can kind of see how it looks. And there's our box for number one. And this is going to be adhered to two other boxes. So let me show you how to do those two other boxes right here. And these are the actual outsides of the boxes. When you go ahead and adhere them together, you could use the Tombow Multi-Purpose Adhesive Glue. And you go ahead and put that on and exit and do the same thing with this and then kiss them together. And I like to go ahead and use some paper clips to hold them really tight on that. And I just put three paper clips and then I hold the back side right here for a minute so it can adhere together. And if you notice on this one, they are pretty tight together. So I like to use this type of glue. I call it green glue, but we sell it in our catalog and it just sticks really well. Let me show you some other ideas that I've done with making these boxes. This is just one that's like a package. You can also like hang an ornament hook on it and have these on your tree and then just have a treat inside of it. And then that just pulls out that way. Same thing with this one. Went ahead and did the Merry Christmas on it with a ribbon going all the way around. And when you pull this out, look, it's got some cute peppermints in it. Let me show you a tip with this is you don't want to put anything on these sides or it won't be, you can't pull it out. So make sure you only decorate the inside just on the front. Here's one more idea if you uh, celebrate Hanukkah. I was really inspired by the Celebrate the Miracle. It's an online stamp set and if you celebrate Hanukkah, it's so cool. I love it. So I made this like little um, countdown. You can either use it a countdown before Hanukkah or you could use it for every time every night at Hanukkah. So I did the same dimensions with this and I went ahead and decorated the back with a full sheet of designer series paper after it was glued together. So you can decide to do it whatever way you want and decorate it. But I love this idea and I love this stamp set. Even though I don't celebrate Hanukkah, I'm going to give it to a friend who does. 
I've showed you a lot of ideas with the nested treat boxes and how much fun they are. Remember, they come in a package of eight. If you'd like these, they're in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.